In this video, we will learn how we can save our Excel documents. We have made a lot of changes to our worksheet ever since we started entering data, but we have not saved it until now. We need to save our document so that all the changes that we have made will be saved and we can retrieve it if we would like to in the future. This document is called a workbook and the workbook has worksheets which are called as sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three here. Excel by default creates three sheets or three worksheets and we have been typing information in sheet one. So before we save this document, let's rename the sheet to something more meaningful. So for example, I can double click this and I will type in, for example, products and then click anywhere. And now I have given the sheet a name called products because this sheet contains information about our products. So now that we have actually given the name to the sheet, this first row, I'm going to remove it because now we know that this sheet is about books and products, so we don't need another title here which says these are books. And I know that we are going to delete this date and time, but we'll come back to that later. So for now, let me right click this and delete this row. And now we have a nice looking table with our list of books. And now we have named the sheet to be products. We can easily copy or delete or move the positions of these worksheets very easily. For example, I can click on products and I can move it between sheet two and sheet three. I can click here and then move it back. I can also rename them very easily. Let's say, for example, I want to rename this as employees and I'm going to type in information about employees in our Inzara bookstore. So now I have entered information about the employees that we have at Inzara. Please note that we can also copy an entire worksheet into a new worksheet. If you right click on any of these worksheets, then you get, you get a menu where you can insert more worksheets. Basically, you can insert any number of pages or worksheets as you need in this workbook. And you can also delete a specific worksheet or you can rename it. We have already seen renaming. You can also move or copy. Basically moving means you're just moving from one place to another. Copying means you're gonna create another copy of the same worksheet. So you're gonna create an additional copy. And if I want to hide this worksheet, I can also use the hide option and this will hide the specific worksheet. The worksheet is still available, but it's just hidden from us. And if I want to bring it back, I can right click anywhere and then unhide. And then I can see that there is one sheet which is hidden and I can select this and click OK. Now that sheet comes back. So let's go ahead and save this workbook and you can use the menu here and click file and save. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control S to initiate the save dialog box. And we want to give a meaningful name to this specific workbook. So I'm going to type in in Zara bookstore data. And this is the name we have given to this workbook. And we would like to save it as an Excel workbook. When you click anywhere here, you will see lots of options of different types of files that you can create from Excel. So the default is the Excel workbook, which is the most current version of Excel that we have. This I'm using Excel 2010. And if I choose any of these older ones, for example, Excel 97 to 2003, then Excel will store it in a .xls extension. If I choose Excel workbook, it is going to store in a more recent .xlsx extension. So if you're going to share this file or workbook with 
somebody who is using an older version of Excel, for example, Excel 2003, then it might be better for you to save it in the other format. But if you're going to be sharing with somebody who's going to have a recent version of Excel, then the best option is choose the default. Some of the features that are available in the new format and the new version of Excel will not be compatible in the older version. And that is why it is recommended that you use the new file if you're definitely sure that you're going to share it with somebody who has the more recent version of Excel. So if you're using Excel 2007, 2010, or 2013, then you should be able to save it in this default format. And we have given a name to this. I've also found a specific folder in my computer where I want to store it and I want to change it to data. And if I click save, Excel will save this workbook as a file here in this folder. One thing I want to point out is that we have been working with this file for a while and only now we saved it. But as a general best practice, please save your file very, very regularly, maybe even every few minutes as you're making the changes, please make sure that you don't lose them. Press Control S shortcut and Excel will save the data very quickly and it doesn't take you long. But if you forget to save any of the changes and if suddenly your computer crashes or if your power goes away, then it's going to be hard to recover all the changes that you made. Excel has some good inbuilt recovery mechanisms and it keeps storing all the changes you're making but still sometimes it has happened that you will lose some data that you might have entered or any changes that you have made to your workbook so please make it a point to always save your work as you're working in this workbook now i've opened the folder where we have saved our file and you can see that this is the name of the workbook or the file and it the type is Microsoft Excel worksheet and it says it's 12 kilobytes. So Excel is storing these files in this format and it is taking up some space in your hard disk. You can create as many workbooks like this as you would like, as long as your hard disk has the capacity to store all these files because each file is going to take some space in your hard disk. Now let me go back to our products worksheet. And let's say we are done for the day and we want to just save it, click save. And then we want to close Excel and you can click on here to close the specific workbook or you can click on this X mark and this will actually close Excel. So let's choose close Excel. Let's say we come back the next day and we want to open Excel again and continue working with our file. And this is the folder where we saved our file. So you can go here to this folder in your Windows or in your computer, and you can just double click the specific file and Excel will open up with this workbook. Another way to open your file would be, you just go ahead and first launch Excel and you would go to your start menu and then launch Excel. And when Excel is going to open up now, it will open up with a new default book one workbook, which is empty. And now if we want to open our file, you can go here and say open. And in this dialog box, choose the folder where you saved your file and then click open. And by this way, you can open that workbook in Excel. So you can go to Windows folder and double click and open and launch Excel along with the workbook, or you can just launch Excel and then go to the open dialog box here and then open your file. This is how you can open an existing Excel document. And another thing Excel does, it'll remind you if you have not saved your work. For example, let's say I'm gonna just type in 16 here and I'm going to close this document and Excel will tell you, do you want to save the changes? So now this is your opportunity to save again before you close this document or before you exit out of Excel, Excel will give you a reminder so you can click save and then save the changes that you have made to the workbook.